Hi there, welcome to the Zapier Academy. Today I will show you how to create a Google Maps API key and add it to your Zapier pickup and delivery settings. Please note you need to have an active Google account in order to proceed. Also, you must have billing enabled in Google Maps platform in order for your API key to work. Google provides a free trial of 90 days or until $300 of credit has been used. After the free trial, they provide $200 of free credit per month, which is more than enough for most merchants. If you exceed their free limit, you will be charged for your usage. Visit the Google Maps platform page and click Get Started. If needed, sign into your Google account. Continue to add business and billing details in the guided tour. Once all the details are added, click Finish Account Setup. Copy the API key and tick Enable all Google Maps APIs for this project. You can also enable budget alerts. Click Go to Google Maps platform. Do not add a restriction. Click Maybe Later. You can now add the API key you've copied to the Zapier pickup and delivery settings. Please note the same API key can be used for both pickup and delivery. Add the API key to the delivery validation feature that requires it. In Zapier Pickup and Delivery, click Settings. Click Local Delivery. Select your delivery validation method. Google Maps API is required for customer within maximum radius or customer within maximum driving distance. Paste the API key and click Check your API key. Click Done and then click Save. We recommend to enable Address Auto Completion feature for these delivery validation methods. It will allow you to improve the distance validation accuracy in our widget. If the API key shows as invalid, check that you have copied the full API key correctly with no blank spaces or missed characters. Add the API key to Store Pickup settings to show the Store Pickup map in our widget and use Geographic Search. Within Zapier Pickup and Delivery, click Settings. Click Store Pickup. Select the location filter setting you need. Paste the API key and click Check your API key. Click Done and then click Save. If the API key shows as invalid, check you have copied the full API key correctly with no blank spaces or missed characters. For troubleshooting steps or for more information, take a look at our Creating a Google Maps API Key article in the description below. If you have any questions, please reach us at support at and we'll be happy to help.